Nutrition is all about balance. And to help us achieve balance in our eating habits, someone's come up with something we like to refer to as the 520 rule. Ever heard of it? It sounds just about as complicated as a mathematical equation, but let's see if anybody here on the street can help us out. Ah. Excuse me, sir. What's the 520 rule? I don't know what the 520 rule is, actually. I've never heard of it. it sounds like a tax code thing. The 520 rule. Yeah. Ideas, Sam? Yeah. Maybe vitamins? Five carbs, 20 grains. <laughs> there. Wait, are there five or seven food groups? Let's keep asking. The 520 rule? Mm -hmm. Is it local or federal? Okay, could you tell me? Can you tell me what the 520 rule is? I don't know. The 520 rule? Mm hmm. Uh, is this when we got five fruits and vegetables every day? Where is everyone? I don't know. Can you tell me what the 520 rule is? Huh. What is it about? It has something to do with nutrition. Does anything come to mind? The 520. I have no idea. I mean, I've, I think I've heard of it, but... We're still confused here. It's very complicated. We need some help. Please. Here's the deal with the 520 rule. If a food has 5% or less of the daily value of a nutrient, say a bottle of juice that contains less than 5% calcium, then that food isn't a good source of that nutrient, calcium in this case. But a food with 20% or more of a nutrient means it is a good source. So a glass of milk that has 25% calcium is an excellent source. The rule also works for nutrients you may not want a lot of, like saturated fat or sodium. With those nutrients, try to stick to the servings closer to 5%, not 20%.